Hello and welcome to Unreal Engine 4. I'm Zach Parrish with Epic Games, and over the next few minutes we're going to take a look at some of the things you need to know to use UE4, as well as some of the ways in which we're working to help you be successful with our toolset. The very first time you launch the engine, you're either going to see the new project window, if you don't have any content downloaded, or you may see the projects tab open. Either way, this is all going to take place in the Unreal Project browser. Now, if it's the very first time you've ever used the engine, you're probably going to want to open one of the existing projects that you can download from the marketplace, which I'll go ahead and click on here, and you'll notice that jumps to the marketplace tab over in the launcher. Currently in the marketplace, there are a variety of different offerings from Epic, uh, helping you see how to approach certain types of projects and to show off features. Of particular mention is the Content Examples project, which has a variety of different levels, each showing off different features and techniques with Unreal Engine 4. So definitely make sure you check that out, and I'll talk about that a little bit more later. Now, once you make it back to the project browser, you can open up anything you've downloaded or you can create your own project. Now, when you go to do this, you're going to see there's a variety of different project types you can create. And you'll notice that they're listed kind of like genres. So we have a first-person game, we've got a flying game. As you keep scrolling down, you'll see some things you might recognize, like a third-person game and so on. Now, I'm going to talk more about uh, what you're actually seeing here, but kind of at a high level, you'll notice that each of these genres, these templates, which is what we call them, comes in two flavors. We have a code version, and we have a blueprint version. Now, I'll focus on the difference between those in a couple of moments, but at a super high level, Blueprint is Unreal Engine 4's visual scripting solution. So that is how you're going to create scripts in a visual manner using a series of nodes and connections. If you're more of the programmer type and you're comfortable coding in C++, then you can create a template using a code version. So uh, whichever one you choose, it's really just going to depend on how you want to go about creating your game. If you're a coder, use the code version. If you're more of a visual person, say an artist or a level designer, and maybe you're just not comfortable programming, then definitely choose the blueprint version of whatever type you want. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I wanted to take just a moment and talk about the difference between the code and blueprint versions of each one of these templates. So the genre templates are going to be super useful to you, of course, as you decide on different types of games you want to build. But let's show the difference between the blueprint and code version. So as I mentioned, blueprint is going to be the visual scripting version of a template, while code is going to be the straightforward C++ version. Let's show this off, though. I'll start with blueprint, and let's name the project. We'll type out blueprint. Print TPP. Now notice, there's a checkbox here called Include Starter Content. I am leaving that unchecked. Uh, this will create a, or add into your project, I should say, a series of meshes and materials, kind of some generic building blocks to sort of help you get your levels built a little more quickly and help you see how things work. But for speed, we're not going to include that. I'll go ahead and click Create Project. And that'll open up this project for us. And here we are. Now, as soon as we get in, we can jump up to the top of the interface and hit the play button. And we can start playing this game right inside of the viewport. So you'll see I've got a little character I can move around with the WASD keys. I've got a camera that I can move around with a mouse. And he can run and he can jump. But what makes this a blueprint example, if I hit escape, is if I go over into the blueprints folder, you'll see I have a character blueprint. And let's go ahead and double click on that, which will open it up in the Blueprint Editor. And here you can see all of the nodes and connections which are making this character's motion and behavior possible. This is Blueprint. This is our visual scripting solution in Unreal Engine 4. So specifically, in this case, we're looking at the aspect of his, uh, his visual script that makes him able to move around. So we have an event for moving forward and back, and we have an event for moving right and left. And in each case, we're grabbing the uh, overall rotation of the character, we're applying a little bit of math to it, and we're using that as the direction the character is going to move. In effect, this is making that motion based off of the camera. The important thing here is that this was not done with actual code. This was done through nodes and connections, as you see here. And we can augment this. We can create our own nodes, our own connections, and make this character do a variety of other things without typing a single line of code. Now, let's show off the difference between this and a code project. So I'm going to go to File, and we'll create a new project. 
And this time, we'll scroll down to third person once again, but we're going to choose the code version. And let's name this code TPP. And I'll click Create Project. And now we're going to get a window that pops up as soon as this is done. It's going to ask us if we want to open this in Visual Studio 2013. As a note, make sure you have VS 2013 installed before you do this. Uh, you can use the free Express version available from Microsoft if you want. But as a reminder, the Express version does not support plugins. So we'll go ahead and click Yes, and that will open up our solution inside of Visual Studio. The first thing we're going to have to do is build this. So I'm just going to right click right here in my Solution Explorer and choose Build. Now the screen is going to fade real quick to kind of skip through the build process. Okay, so now our build is complete. As you can see, it says one succeeded and no failures. So I'm going to go ahead and just minimize Visual Studio at this point. In fact, actually, you know what? On second thought, let's just go ahead and close it. I'll bring it back up and we'll just close it all out together because I want to show you something here in just a moment. Now we need to open this up in the editor. So I'll go to File, Open Project. And now you'll see I have Code TTP up here. I can double click on this and we don't need to save anything from our previous project. And the new version, our code version, is now launched. I can, just as before, click Play, and we get the exact same experience. And that's important to point out. The Blueprint version of each template and the code version are going to work exactly the same as far as the player is concerned. However, the key difference is that now I still have a Blueprints folder, and we still see the character Blueprint, but if I double-click it to open it up, you will notice that if I jump to the Graph tab in the upper right-hand corner, the graph is now empty. There are no nodes or connections. And that is because everything this character is doing has been defined in code. Now, at the very top of the Blueprint window, you'll see there's a parent class which points to code ttp character dot h. So that's, of course, the dot h file as opposed to the CC, uh, cpp file. I'll click on that. And notice that automatically launches Visual Studio and takes us right to that file. So now we can start editing the header file for this actual character. And this is going to be the, the comfortable environment for anybody who's already used to working in C++. And of course, if you're not, make sure you use that blueprint template that we took a look at earlier. So if you really are just getting started with the engine for the first time, we highly recommend you check out our marketplace, where we've got a variety of different projects available for you to download. And each one of these, you can browse through, check out, tear apart if you want to, and learn how a variety of different features and techniques and approaches work in Unreal Engine 4. Now, I've already downloaded several of these myself, so let's check out just uh, a few of them to give you kind of a high-level overview of what's available. The big project I'd like to mention is the Content Examples project. This project contains a variety of different maps that you can open up, and each one shows off a different technique or a different engine feature, along with specific examples of how each thing works. So you can go step by step through each one of the little stands, see how each thing is actually being done. You can open it up. You can take apart its blueprints. You can even just copy paste everything you see into your own levels if you want to. So definitely take a look at content examples. Make sure you've at least opened up each one of the maps and played around a little bit with what you find. Now this project is going to continue to expand. We are going to add new things to it from time to time just to help you learn about new features and new ways to go about using the engine. We also have the Blueprint Examples project. This is a little enclosed environment with several different examples of how you can use Blueprints in your game, ranging from things like uh, level design applications, such as the uh, god rays coming in or the little fog volumes, all the way to more sophisticated things like a, uh, a butterfly that actually has uh, artificial intelligence to a security camera that knows when you get nearby and can set off an alarm and lock the door. The mobile temple example gives you an environment that is completely mobile ready and shows off a variety of mobile rendering features. Now this can be deployed to an Android or to an iOS device and you can see how you can create a compelling and beautiful environment on your mobile devices using Unreal Engine 4. The reflections demo 
gives you a small environment where you can go see how reflections are set up in UE4. And of course, if you just uh, hit play, you'll get a nice matinee fly through that'll show you each one of these features kind of in detail and show you how beautiful reflections can really make your levels appear when building your environments in UE4. The shooter game is actually a miniature but full featured first person shooter that you can open up and run around and play inside of the engine or you can launch it separately as its own game complete with bots and weapons that you can use. So definitely check this one out. Now it has a couple of different levels. There's uh, a simple one and there's a, of course the much more elegant high rise map. So definitely make sure you play through this and see how it works. The strategy game is a simple tower defense game with a, a single level that you can open up and as soon as you start playing the game uh, you can see little enemies starting to come down the path after you. You can click on little pieces of gold and then set up towers to try to defend your base. Definitely a really cool example to open up and dig through uh, if you want to see how to go about creating this type of game on your own. Swing Ninja is a game that is kind of mobile centric, so very stylized environment where you can run around and swing between ledges and collect coins in a very kind of simplified and stylized environment. Tappy Chicken is our take on a game that you might have actually seen before. Uh, so this is a game that was created entirely with our Blueprint visual scripting system. So be sure you take at least a few moments, not only to play it, because it is kind of fun, but to open up the Blueprint that powers it and kind of dig through it and see how it works. Now remember, the Marketplace is going to receive a variety of updates, not just from Epic Games, but as things continue to expand, you'll start to be able to see content from other users even your own content, if you'd like to put it up here, so that you can start grabbing different assets, bring them into your games, or see how different things might work. So definitely keep an eye on the marketplace for new releases as you continue to use Unreal Engine 4. Your Unreal Engine subscription is super easy to manage on unrealengine.com. And of course you can cancel whenever you need to and keep anything you've downloaded up to that point. But keep in mind that while you're subscribed, you get access to new versions of the engine along with any engine updates that we release along the way. You'll get full access to the source code on GitHub. Uh, of course, any new marketplace content for future versions of the engine. So there are a lot of ways that we are working hard to help you succeed and maintaining that subscription really helps keep you on the bleeding edge with where Unreal Engine 4 continues as it grows and develops. And keep in mind that we've got a lot of resources to help you learn more about the engine. We have the forums which are available at forums.unrealengine.com. We have the Answer Hub, which of course you can get to at answers.unrealengine.com, which is a great place to ask questions for anything you're having a hard time with, and folks from Epic and folks from around the community can jump in and provide the answers that you need. We also have the Unreal Engine YouTube channel with a lot of training videos. Be sure to check out the playlist link here and get a nice breakdown of all of the different offerings that we have. I highly recommend you check out the Unreal Editor tor uh, tutorials, so the UE4 Editor Tutorials playlist, which you can open up and start going through a rundown of the user interface, how to navigate the viewports, and those critical first few tasks that you need when you first start using the Unreal Engine. And then finally, we have the Epic Wiki, which has a variety of tutorials, uh, various write-ups on the showcases and uh, sample content that we're releasing, and you actually have the power to edit this yourself if you want to contribute to the community and add your own voice into the global Unreal Engine 4 discussion. So that's it. That's a quick rundown of some of the things that you need to know. Thanks for watching, and now let's go make something unreal.